The United States and Israel have nurtured endearing bilateral ties, forged by a multitude of factors, including unwavering domestic backing in the U.S. for Israel and its security, as well as shared strategic objectives within the Middle East. There are many U.S. weapons delivered to Israel since 1948, but in today's video, we will outline only the new or forthcoming supply of U.S. weaponry to Israel. So without further delay, let's get right into it. The F-15EX Eagle II The Israeli Ministry of Defense has made an official request for the acquisition of 25 Boeing F-15EX Eagle II heavy fighter aircraft to be designated as F-15IA within the Israeli Air Force. The Israeli Air Force IAF aims not only to strengthen its capabilities with a new squadron of F-15-1A, standing for Israel Advanced Fighters, but also intends to enhance its existing fleet of 25 F-15I Ram aircraft to the same advanced level, designating them as F-15I+. CH-53K Heavy Lift Helicopters Israel's Air Force has relied on its Sikorsky Yasser helicopter CH-53D for personnel and equipment transport since as far back as 1969. In late 2021, Israel entered into a letter of offer and acceptance LOA with the United States, securing the acquisition of 12 CH-53K heavy lift helicopters at a cost of $2 billion. In February 2022, it was widely reported by several sources that Lockheed Martin Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation had entered into an agreement with Israel to manufacture the initial batch of four CH-53K helicopters for a sum of $372 million. The expected timeline for delivery of these helicopters is set for some time in the span of 2025 to 2026. The F-35 Lightning II Israel holds the distinction of being the inaugural foreign operator of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, a fifth-generation stealth aircraft, characterized as the pinnacle of technological advancement in the realm of fighter jets. Thus far, Israel's procurement of 50 F-35s has been achieved through three distinct contracts, financially supported by U.S. assistance, and it has already received 36 of these advanced aircraft. An additional 14 units of the F-35 are currently pending delivery and anticipated to arrive in the near future. Artillery Ammunition Among the various types of ammunition, there's a notable surge in the demand for NATO standard 155mm shells, which both Israel and Ukraine employ to engage targets within relatively short distances. The Pentagon has announced its intent to access an American ammunition reserve situated in Israel and facilitate the shipment of hundreds of thousands of these 155mm shells to Ukraine. The stockpile in Israel serves as a strategically positioned resource, extending support for armament needs across the region in prompt manner when the situation demands. Smart Bombs Following Hamas's attack, the initial weapons shipments sent from the United States to Israel included approximately 1,000 small diameter bombs. These munitions weigh around 250 pounds each and are equipped with a GPS navigation system for precise targeting and striking. Israeli officials have expressed their desire for more of these aerially launched bombs from the United States. Over the period since 2010, Israel has procured over 8,500 small diameter bombs from the United States as reported by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. Also now, Israel has ordered more munitions from the United States alongside the equipment for guided bomb kits and the Biden administration has approved a $320 million transfer of the same to Israel. Israel's High Energy Laser Iron Beam Interception System In December of 2022, Lockheed Martin and Rafael entered into a collaborative agreement to collectively create and manufacture a high-energy laser system. The system is based on the assets that have been independently developed by Rafael and the Ministry of Defense's Directorate of Defense Research and Development DDR&D, through the Iron Beam project. During President Biden's visit to Israel in the summer of 2022, 
multiple reports indicate that the Israeli government had intentions to request U.S. support for their high-energy laser HEL program. It was widely anticipated that the U.S. government would contribute to the program's further development in some capacity at a later stage. KC-46A Pegasus To enhance its aerial strike capabilities and bolster personal transportation, Israel has been actively pursuing the acquisition of Boeing's versatile KC-46A Pegasus multi-role tanker aircraft. The Pegasus possesses the capability to refuel a diverse array of U.S. and Allied military aircraft while also accommodating passengers, fuel, and equipment. In March 2020, the Defense Security Corporation Agency DSCA formally informed the U.S. Congress about a proposed sale of eight KC-46A Boeing Pegasus aircraft to Israel with an estimated value of approximately $2.4 billion. It is worth noting that Israel is the second foreign nation following Japan to be granted approval by the United States for the receipt of KC-46A aircraft. While the delivery of these Pegasus tanker aircraft is tentatively expected in 2026, Israel's government has been actively exploring options to expedite this timeline. Armored SUVs Israel has recently received a fresh shipment of U.S. military assistance as part of the aid package designated by Washington for Tel Aviv. These armored SUVs from the United States are being supplied to the Israeli military to replace vehicles that have sustained damage in past conflicts. It is noteworthy that the acquisition of these vehicles is a vital element of comprehensive agreements aimed at reinforcing the Israeli military's vehicle inventory designed to address various wartime scenarios. The Director General of the Ministry of Defense, Eyal Zamir, has already authorized procurement orders both domestically and internationally for vehicles and heavy machinery, totaling more than 400 million shekels. Furthermore, this acquisition process is closely tailored to meet the specific requirements of the Israeli military and encompasses a diverse range of specialized vehicles, including armored ambulances, operational vehicle with armor, tactical trucks, and mechanical engineering equipments. And that, guys, are the new or forthcoming supply of U.S. weaponry to Israel. With this, we're signing off for today, but don't forget to hit that notification and subscription button for more exciting videos from The Buzz. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.